what's happening guys Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 ultimate team video and today guys I'm going to be doing a couple of pack openings and then I'm also going to give you guys a lineup update I've got some packs to open just because I've been grinding through these NFL journey solos uh, if you guys haven't seen my video on how to finish solos quickly using one play uh, really easily make sure that you go check that out I'll leave a link to it in the description below but damn these things are a grind, man. I've done a ton of them already. Um, we're only a couple days into owning the game, what, like three, four days at this point, and I've already done 112 of the 160 NFL Journey solos. They're about to get more difficult, I imagine, as we go into the higher difficulties, but they've actually been kind of fun to do, so I would definitely recommend doing them. After that, I'm thinking I'm probably going to run through the gauntlet or maybe the style. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing, but... That's how I got these couple of packs. Anyway, guys, just want to let you know there are some good rewards in those packs. So definitely go check them out. And then at the end of this, I'm also going to give you guys a lineup update. So here we are, guys. We've got an Elite Journey pack, which is going to guarantee us one Elite player. And then we've also got a, an All-Pro Journey bundle, which is going to give us like one of those Captain... Um, the captain badges and then also or the collectibles i forget what they're called and then also uh an all pro pack so we're going to open up the all pro pack first hopefully we get something decent out of this captain badge pack we'll add that to the set like we always do i haven't been adding them i, I wasn't adding them at first because i was kind of confused at where i had to put them but now i just pretty much add them automatically because you get you're going to get enough to finish off all of the captains uh just by doing the um journey solos so anyway uh, oops, sorry, I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing here, and we've still got, like I said, the all pro packs, so we'll open that up here in just a second. It's taking a while to load. There must be a ton of people pushing the servers right now. All right, here we go. All pro pack. Give me something good. Let's go, EA. Come on. All right. Nothing, nothing. Brandon Harris, Lucas Oil, Silver Badge, Buster Screen. Ah. Ah, come on, Waddle. Robert Turbin. Those are our cards. Come on. You got to give me something better than that. What if there's an elite here? Man, Rex Ryan D. All right, so not really anything out of our all pro pack, unfortunately. And now we've got the elite journey pack to still open. So that's going to give us, I believe, another collectible of some sort. Yep, there it is, the captain token. So we'll quick add that. And then it'll also give us a guaranteed elite player. So hopefully we get something good and we get Mikey Potty. Of course, we get an offensive lineman. Damn it. All right. Well, at least Mikey Potty's really good for run blocking. So uh, we'll make him our starter at left guard because I'm sure he's probably the best guy I've got. I think I've got. Well, that'll actually give us two elites across that left side. We've got Tyron Smith at left tackle. I'll give you guys the quick lineup update, like I said. Um, so you guys can see kind of what I've been doing with my team. And I want to hear your opinions on this as well, because I know some of you guys have even, even been grinding more than I have at the game so far. So I want to hear what you have to say. We might need to put Ozemele at right guard. We'll see here. Let me take a look. Um, the overalls definitely drops, but his strength, eh, his pass blocking is terrible and his strength isn't that good. His speed's okay. I don't know. They're roughly the same. Um... One's better at run block versus pass block, but... All right, so here is the updated lineup anyway, though. We've got Tyron Smith and my, now Mikey Potty on the left side there. So that's pretty good. We're going to be able to run the ball pretty effectively to the left. Both these guys are very, very good. Center, we've got Brian De La Puente, David DeCastro at right guard, Kevin Beecham at left tackle. We're actually using this guy, like I mentioned before, David Osbury in a previous video because of his speed. 89 speed at tight end, six foot four. That's pretty beastly. That's like wide receiver territory. So hopefully we can improve... Um, what we've been doing with our offense a little bit. I haven't been very successful with throwing to the tight end, so hopefully I can make that a little bit better and uh, make use of him. I'm also using Brandon LaFell as a backup tight end. He's decent at run blocking, and he's nice and quick too. At wide receiver, we're using the Odell Beckham Jr. Now, this is the um, not, this is the one that I can't sell, unfortunately. So I, I pulled that as my, um, I forget what it was called, like the, I don't even know what the hell pack it was, but that, that card I cannot sell. It's going to become a gold here in about a month. And then we've got Julio Jones on the other side. So pretty good wide receivers with Odell Beckham and Julio Jones. Kevin White, I'm a big fan of this card. I opened that earlier today when I was doing my pack opening. Six foot three, 94 speed, 88 catch in traffic. That's actually better than Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, his spec catch is only an 85 and his release isn't spectacular, but he does have decent attributes overall. I'm a big fan of this card. I wish he wouldn't have got hurt because I really wanted to see what he could do in real life. Um, LaShawn McCoy is our current running back and we're using Dre Archer as our backup. That might change depending on how LaShawn McCoy does. 88 speed is a little slow for me. I like to see my running backs at least in the 90s, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. 
We're actually using Colin Kaepernick at quarterback. I know I asked you guys in a previous video what quarterback you wanted me to use, and a lot of you said Mike Vick. I decided to actually go with Colin Kaepernick. I pulled him later after the fact, but Colin Kaepernick's pretty similar to Mike Vick, pretty much a, a running quarterback for the most part, but he's right-handed, and I'm definitely more comfortable with right-handed quarterbacks. Um, then, uh, let's see here, fullback, nothing really special. Safety, I am using the Aaron Williams that I opened in my, um, in my Legend bundle, 90 speed which is pretty damn beastly with 88 acceleration. So I definitely like to see that. On the other side, we're using Dante Whitner. Jamie Collins, we opened him in our legend bundle. He was our elite that we opened, 83 overall at a left outside linebacker, uh, or at a right outside linebacker. He is a left outside linebacker. I wonder if I should, you know what? I think I screwed this up. I think I need to use Jamie Collins here. Yes, this is what I need to do. All right, I need to remove him from the lineup real quickly. I think I screwed this up on accident. And then we need to put him here. And then I, I think I just like flipped the two for some reason. I don't know why I did that. But Jamie Collins is 85 overall at left outside linebacker. And that's where we want him to play, obviously. And you guys can see it's kind of taking a really long time to load. Are you guys having that same problem? And then uh, we're probably going to go, well, yeah, we're going to go Connor Barwin at left outside line or at right outside linebacker. So I actually really like this setup that we've got right now with our linebackers. Um, Nigel Bradham is a player that I kind of like as an underrated player. 86 speed. You don't really see that a lot at the linebacker position at this point in Mutt. So um, he's definitely somebody that I've been using and I'm, I'm a big fan of so far. Then uh, at our secondary, we've got Brandon Flowers and Tim Jennings as our starting corners. We've got, um, I actually really like this card too. Kareem Jackson is a pretty good player. He's got great zone coverage at a 93. He's actually higher than Brandon Flowers as a zone coverage and also Tim Jennings. And I use a lot of zone coverage. So I'm, I'm starting him as my third corner. Uh, Terrence Newman and EJ Gaines as our are our other secondary players. And then uh, Jerry Hughes is a big time pass rusher. Sharif Floyd, um, Crawford we've got we've got pretty good players across the board but really not really like spectacular players at really most of the positions to be completely honest with you and then our specialists we've got um Marquette King and uh I don't know what this guy's name even is to be honest with you Jordan Gay I, I mean I guess he's their kicker this year I don't know I haven't paid close attention to the Bills kicking situation but he's got 97 kick power and that's what we're looking for so there you go that's probably going to be our kicker for most of the year to be honest with you because I don't really consider even thinking about kickers for the most part um, third down running back is probably going to change here. We're probably going to change that to LaShawn McCoy. Um, but yeah, so there it is, guys. That is the starting lineup. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. And also, guys... Please help me out with my lineup. If you see something that I should be changing, let me know in the comment section below. I would be glad to take your advice and uh, and even just some a ask some questions if you guys have any on why I did one thing or another. I would I would appreciate it. So thank you guys for all the support. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.